to your other top 10 headlines in just two minutes. The Woodland Muslim Mosque and Islamic Center has been targeted by online threats of a mass shooting. Tonight, police say they've arrested a 23-year-old man who had a firearm and ammunition. Scary moments in Patterson. Deputies say they found all of this inside a car last night after getting it to stop in a Starbucks drive through They say the driver had to be tased. He faces multiple gun and drug charges. Federal investigators are getting involved after a woman was killed by a Bay Area BART train. She was dragged to her death after the doors closed between her and a dog she had on a leash. Wildfires that make up the KNP Complex fire have shut down Sequoia National Park. Officials now say some of the world's oldest and biggest trees are in danger of being destroyed. President Biden continued to push his infrastructure bill today, saying it's how we fight climate change. But we know, we know what we have to do. We just need to summon the courage and the creativity to do it. While in Sacramento yesterday, the president said his Build Back Better plan includes billions of dollars for wildfires. More than 4,000 Sacramento State students are now banned from campus until they prove they've been vaccinated against COVID-19. The university says those who do not certify their status or test weekly will be dropped from in-person classes. Sacramento County supervisors just voted to commit they will only share and promote COVID-19 information from credible sources. Supervisor Sue Frost was the only one to vote no and was the only supervisor not wearing a mask. We are getting our first look inside Sacramento's newest homeless shelter near Broadway and Alhambra. It will temporarily house 100 people. This shelter is really built on partnerships. It took well over two years to get to where we are today. Broadway fans are excited. Hamilton will finally start its Sacramento run tomorrow night at the new Performing Arts Center. And talk about an out-of-this-world experience. Tomorrow, SpaceX will launch its first all-civilian mission. Four people will orbit the Earth for three days. And those are your top 10 headlines in just two minutes.